Bone Nosavu Mapisa Ngakule has resigned as the Speaker of the National Assembly. She's also resigned as a Member of Parliament. She faces allegations from the National Prosecuting Authority that she received four million rand in a series of payments from a defence contractor while she was the Minister of Defence. Junior Kamalo, our political reporter, has been tracking her through the day. He joins me now. Junior, good afternoon to you. What does she say in her statement of resignation? Uh, good afternoon to you, Stephen. So she mentions uh, a lot of things. She said one of those things is that her resignation is by no means an admission of my guilt regarding the allegations being leveled against me. She also indicates that the position of the Speaker of the National Assembly of the, South of the Republic Republic of South Africa is critical to the reconstruction and the development of our country. Given the seriousness of the much publicized allegations against me, I cannot continue on in this role. So basically she acknowledges the seriousness of this role and says that she cannot continue in this role. Uh, we know that she had stepped aside uh, from these duties last month, indicating that she wants to uh, basically fight these challenges that have been uh, basically the charges that have been uh, leveled against her. So she had stepped aside for since last month. So we expected her again to pre present herself to the police station today, which did not happen. And it seems like this is going to happen tomorrow. So, I mean, what we're seeing now, I suppose, the pressure on her has been really intense. We've seen opposition party after opposition party demanding that she resign, a motion brought by the DA, the EFF yesterday, demanding that she actually be now arrested after losing that court case. Was the pressure just too much in the end? The pressure seems to have been too much. The DA had indicated that they want that motion actually to be uh, taken a priority of and to be tabled this week so that they do manage to uh, basically take a debate that motion in Parliament and then vote on it. The EFF had said that she should be arrested with immediate effect because she had lost that court application uh, yesterday when the Pretoria High Court found that there was no agency to the matter that she had brought. So now the, the waiting game is whether she is going to present herself to the police station or she is going to be arrested by the police. Has there been any conversation between her legal team and other people in the NPA around all of this? The NPA, of course, is giving really nothing away nothing. at this point. Indeed, the NPA is giving nothing at all at this point, but the indication seems that the NPA and her legal team are in discussions. So what the legal team seems to want is that she be summoned to court, to court directly. She does it bypasses the whole process of being arrested, then a, st a statement taken from her, and then she only be presented to court. So they're saying that is unnecessary, given her role, given her Stature in public, she can present herself to court and go and face those charges. But we know that the court yesterday did say that this seeming favorable treatment that she is being given is, is not fair because some South Africans don't get the same treatment that she is actually being given by the NPA. The NPA seems to argue that uh, every South African is actually entitled to this. So the attitude of the ANC to all of this, uh, they seem to oppose motions for her to be removed. They seem to suggest that it was too soon. How have they dealt with this over the last but few days? Th this time around, the ANC did say that uh, this motion should actually be uh, debated, and they agreed to the motion being debated. So it seems like her own party was actually turning against her, because we even heard uh, the uh, spokesperson of the ANC saying that should it get to a point where she is arrested, then the ANC's policy of stepping aside should kick in. So basically, even her own party was saying that given the gravity of these allegations and that they are so close to the elections, they should be seen to be taking some action against anyone who has such um, levels of uh, allegations that they are facing. Junior Kamalo, thank you very much indeed. A long day for him tracking, of course, the situation around the now former Speaker of the National Assembly.